Docking cycle complete. So, Vladimir, what do you have for now us? Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. The ones we found, anyway. No telling what this is, but you can feel that excitement in the air, can't you? It's something important. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. Okay. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> okay, so... I think yours ready. Some, some greenery. Yeah? I'm glad you're back. Let's get moving. Miss Morgan, I shall be here if you need me. It's actually comforting to know that, Androsia. Thank you. So this is finished ve summer weather. Again? Yeah, what is it? Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Was it that obvious? Yes. Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. Apparently we need to return there. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. Was there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely, or... Explode into a fireball. It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft <laughs> landing. So, so called suicide there. burn. We did that in <laughs> Kerbal Space Program. That's what I was hoping. But I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted Ouch. more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Crusades are my specialty. <laughs> uh, thanks. I really needed a laugh. Truth is, I'm scared. 
When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. Ah, if I begin to fall apart, I'm going to need someone who can keep my spirits up. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, uh, I'll never understand. I... I don't know what to say. Ah, uh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True love. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. I'm just... not ready. Not yet. Traveling out here with you, I've discovered that friendships change by circumstance. I worked closely with Aja on long space voyages, so we became friendly. When she quit Constellation, the friendship ended. But I'm certain at this point, even if you and I were separated by a great distance, we'd never lose touch. You're right. I have. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiope. Yeah. You're right. Hey, um, any hopefully. Okay, she is now undismissible. <clears throat> okay. Oh no. Uh seek shelter immediately. Uh Sam Sam has problems as well. So we need to do Sarah mission next. So. Okay, what's here? Uh, that looks like a door. Looks like bit, a bit like the Vemer door from from the Elder Scrolls. Okay, what we have here? Notice how the room is reacting to our presence. Those rings in particular. So I'm gathering something. Frostbite curd. Nice. I mean, wait, what? Okay, 
What is that? Equip new. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. Let's go. First we go to the lodge, then we are going to visit. Ja sleepä takinen kohomassa vaan laiska oli kun kana sen savi pataa niin tarvitsee alusta ja muotoilla sen enempää. Toi kuulostaa tosi hyvältä. Sounds really good. Hello. Craig's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm going to start doing some scans. Like right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire Black building powers. generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think I'm going to need a little the demonstration. Down belly. Mind putting the paces to it? Everyone saw that, right? Yeah, it reacted. A literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird weird. <laughs> Glad to use this everywhere. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power, all connected. More questions than answers. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then... Okay, so each time. of the tar artifact has their own temple. Don't think it's just fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten... All seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. How about the race? I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. It's about an artifact. And our goal is simple, we're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon. Which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city and then the drinks will be on me. Drinks are on you? Hmm. Now I'm certain there's something wrong with you, Walter. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system then. I admit I'm a little excited. Travel to Neon, okay. But we, we need to check the... Admiral Logan. So I've been doing so much stuff for the UC, I suppose. Captain John, they could I do have something for me. Idling and awaiting my next order for some time now. Okay.
You're handling this whole captain thing really well, you know. I can't imagine how hard it was to be under all that pressure. A leader knows that protecting regular folk is not just a responsibility, but a privilege. And I'm proud to call you my captain. Modest, too. They're gonna make a statue out of you, or carve your face on a moon or something. <laughs> what you did took nerves. Befriending Delgado like that, it was a huge risk. If he had gotten to you, convinced you to side with them, I don't know what we'd be dealing with right now. Good. He deserved what he got for what he did and for what he would have done. And if they regroup after all this, they'll be weaker next time. Yeah, they don't have all a thanks to home you. port, so that that's... Maybe, maybe not. But one thing's for certain. Things could have been a whole heck of a lot worse right now. And it's okay to feel good about that. Okay. Now, now we can continue. Interested in? If you don't mind. Sarah Morgan. It's been what? Almost ten years? Admiral. It's, uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? I see. Then, as Sarah's associate, perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? Uh, uh, military is usually... I don't know. ...regard highly of these operations that uh, we are bringing, bringing the uh, dead, dead veterans back. So... I, I I could imagine that it, it hasn't changed, or it, it's more res respected in a, in a far future, where you well, if somebody ends ends up in a sun or a black hole, they, they can't be recovered. Recovering is much harder. I see. The fact that you'd risk your own lives to solve this mystery speaks volumes. They were my responsibility, Admiral. One way or another, I intend to bring them home. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? Oh, that, that worked out well. If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to you, Slades. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. We should make sure we're well supplied for the trip to Cassiopeia. Okay. That was easy. 
Burke Place. Burke Place. Howdy. And and we need to do this right. Applied for the trip to Cassiopeia. Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. Starships fly there like comets. Carrying... Hmm. I find that to be rather surprising. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? I know, and I feel terrible that I can't provide you with the proper reassurance. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. Hmm. Perhaps. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. But we're only at the very beginning. There are still so many questions that need to be answered. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere? Maybe that's revealed in Starfield 2 or, 2 or something. Perhaps. We'll need more data to be sure. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this. Whatever it is. Unharmed. Well, oh, yeah, yes, of course you are. I was speaking of the power you acquired. Uh, this is all scientifically speaking, of course. Look, I've already taken uh -huh. up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. Yeah, but... Uh... This should be easy. Landing side looks clean. Let's set it down. Oh, all geared up and ready to go. Oh, this planet we can actually breathe. Good thing because I didn't wear, wear my spacesuit. St still, let's go with them. I can't believe I'm here. It feels like walking into a dream. Thank you. Right now, I feel like I need all the help that I can get. Phew. Okay, so, let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes. Yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. Yes, exactly. Since most of my gear was destroyed, I depended on those landmarks to orient myself while I was stranded. Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the cruise shuttle wreckage. 
<sighs> Let's go. He kind of survived here for a, for a time. Escape shuttle. This is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. That's a long Not time. exactly Paradiso, is it? Oh, I never said I walked away. When my ship hard landed on the surface, it broke apart. There was no fire, but I was... I was pretty badly injured. Had to crawl from the wreckage. When they finally rescued me, the UC medics said I had three broken ribs, shattered my ulna, and had internal organ damage. I was in the medical ward recovering for almost six weeks. It was difficult and painful, but it kept me alive. It was home. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. That's an excellent point. I hadn't taken degradation into account. I'm glad I brought you along. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing. It's uh, up there. Anything interesting in range? I see, kind of took the uh, <laughs> part that this isn't too steep to climb up here and wounded to set up the beacon. Crash side. Ah, uh, what's the? That's why I have. I have this gun. Or 
Strange. Object Alpha, you see don't less. Ship destroyed. Beta. Escape Shuttle Zero Two. Grid point. Several thousand kilometers away. Okay, so she, she totally doesn't know what what happened with the with the second shuttle. I mean, all we know that they couldn't contact her. They might be still there. In theory, right? I suppose. Rescue party would have checked them out as well. Oh, good. Admiral said that it was a mystery, so they didn't have a coordinates. Dad, Wait. Have you ever tried Aurora? Uh, they didn't check the. What was it like? Oh, I can't. Terrible, terrible. It was terrible. So they didn't check the computer so when they rescued rescued Sarah. It's the worst. Gun, but yep, let's make a let's pirate things a bit. Long time since I haven't actually done this, so and we're docked. Expect an armed response. I wouldn't give my own ship up without a fight. Do the Terminator thing. <laughs> out of bullets. Okay. Okay. From up and below. <laughs> below. Actually, you say K47. Thanks for following Trinity. Old Earth assault rifle. So we are currently trying to take over s several floors of the pirate ship. Oops. I might want to keep this actually. 
So this is empty. Upper floor seems to be a okay. So top floor is cl clear. Okay, so there's another ladder here. Oh no. Okay, there were two two enemies left. Upgraded piloting skill to fly this ship. Oh no. Okay, now, now we can fly. So, seek last ship. Somebody said that you can't actually... You can't actually uh, get the uh, like, large, largest ship in, in one play, but you, you, you can. Register. It's going to cost, cost you, but now we have a spacer hyena. Which is like... This is big. And now, now we just need to start making some changes to this. Our new ship. So get, getting a ship is, is pretty okay. Yeah, pretty easy. And lots of different weapons here. Let's fast travel. The thing is with, with the fast travel, it's it's fun when you we're locked in and landing. When it, when it's cool, like Cyberpunk, for example, I almost never use fast travel. And Mass Effect Andromeda, I didn't use fast travel in in during the in system warps because it it was too cl cool. This is what's left of the crew's shuttle, but it looks like parts were scavenged and dragged somewhere else. Could there have been survivors? Uh, possibly. Possible survivors. Hmm, that looks like a less place where somebody could could actually live. That's scanned. Going on here. Supplies? A shelter. Fire is still fresh. Do I have a I suppose I did play did misplace my medkits. Shut up main cabin. Stop. I'll, I'll shoot if I have to. Just turn around and, and leave. I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh my god. Who 
Are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go! Hey, I'm not stupid. Last time people were here, they promised to help. They ended up tricking me. They stole all of my good stuff and left me behind. I'm not going to let that happen ever again. Answers? About what? How do I know you're telling the truth? Stop it right now. Put away that gun and talk to us. We want to know what happened here. See? You're not nice at all. I knew it. You're a liar. That's all grown-ups do is lie. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I was wrong to get so angry. We are here to help you. And we promise to tell the truth. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? That's because no one is fooling me ever again. The crew? No one's been looking for that crew since before I was born. So tell me another lie. Go ahead. You were born here. Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents, your mom and your dad, what were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias Oberst. You're their daughter. Listen to me. R raised by the wolves. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. Yeah? Well, you're too late. My parents are dead. My father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those... those monsters at the graveyard it's just me here now all by myself let me ask you a question oh, actually i don't even know your name oh yeah my name's sona sona <laughs> what a lovely name sona you mentioned a graveyard is that where the crew is um you know Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces like the ones my mom and dad had hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. Phew. I don't even know where to begin. Apparently the rescue operation didn't work out so well. Yeah, she was, she was rescued, but her crew wasn't. Yeah, this isn't what I expected at all. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. What's a gene it's tag? It's an identification tag worn by UC military personnel. It's encoded with the soldiers' medical information and a sample of their DNA. If we can bring them back to Jemison, it would be like bringing home the crew's bodies for a proper burial. Good. Just be careful. Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory. Okay, ten. Okay.
Okay, explo exploding plants. That's that's new. Okay, these are the graves. Nine. Did I get everything? All right. Yeah, maybe that that has eaten one of the crew crew members. Yeah, called it. Just joined. What's the mission? Uh, our mission is to find Sarah, uh, Sarah's lost crew that were shot down to this planet. And what we found is no. their their oh, no, child. No, no. How many times do I have to say it? I said I don't want to go. Leave me alone. And you can guess how Sarah, it's going. Calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. You can't make me leave. We can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? I agree, but we can't force her to. I open. know, I know. I'm not proposing we knock her out for God's sake. <sighs> Look. Maybe you can talk some sense into her. Help her make a decision. I just... Oh, I'm sorry, I can't do this right now. I can hear you talking about me. And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? Then we could upgrade our talking skills a bit. Let's see. Why won't Sarah listen to me? I've been alone for a long time, and even when bad people visit, I've been safe. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had, does it? Mom told me there were really bad people out there. Worse than the ones I've already seen. But... Uh, Leaving mom and dad behind, it's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon Let's them. Let's see if we can persuade her. Okay, so it's, this is not persuasion. You are just selecting the dialogue choices here, which is like great. Some, some uh, discussions in this game are actually that you are not rolling the dice, you are actually talking. I 
suppose you're right. Mom and Dad always promised that I'd leave here someday. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get, well, wherever we're going. Modern, modern people. That poor girl. <laughs> mobile, mobile phone. I hope we've made the right decision. Taking mobile phone and doing something with it when, when, when not, not in the situation. Oh, I do hope that's well, true. Well, cu culture shock We're is a thing, but. We're ripping Sonia from the only home she's ever known. People can survive it. Casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time. Please. Thank you. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go. Okay. Look, before we head back to the ship, I wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. Seeking a promotion within Constellation, are we? Hmm. Keep making observations like that, and you're certain to win my favor. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world. And until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Yeah. Find long lost this burden children. Of the has finally allowed me to open my eyes wider than they've ever been opened before. And it's all because of you. Let's flirt. Perhaps. Because why not? I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? Ah, <sighs> well. I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. This time, under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. Also, remember, uh, I should point out that we have now uh, Twitch points working, channel points, so you can, you can actually redeem stuff from there. Return to New Atlantis. So we, we can now fast travel. That was nice because this quest had like clearly handcrafted locations. Uh, me, me, me likes <laughs> government. Enjoy the penthouse. One of the finest views in New Atlantis. Welcome back. Did you find your answers? Not only that. But we found someone there, alive. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. After her parents died, that poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world, alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. Oops. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? Sona. Is that her name? She must be a remarkable young woman. She's extraordinary, Admiral. And I'm afraid the United Colonies let her down. You're absolutely right, Sarah. We did let her down. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. 
It's been an honor. Once we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. Yeah, it's like I started several RPGs back in the August and haven't finished them, and I'm I'm like slightly guilty of not having time to play to play them uh, because I need to go go and make Perhaps a video we as a well. Time relaxing rather than planning. Ah, uh, we have a girl to visit. Well, okay, fine. Let's see what he says. Uh, okay, what's... Hey, you have a second? Sam and I were just having a uh, discussion, and I wanted someone else... Oh, no. Quick. Oh, no. I think it's more accurate to say that you and I have now both been cornered, but sure. I'd like to, you know, get in shape, do some working out. So I asked Vladimir for some tips, and he basically said weightlifting was a bad idea. Are you sure that's what he said, or is it just what you heard? Eh. Anyway, so I wanted to get Sam's opinion on it, and he pretty much said the same thing. Okay, since now you've been fully roped into this, let's all just take a step back. I had simply pointed out that if you take a look at Mateo, weightlifting isn't necessarily the first thing that comes to mind. I was wondering whether there might be a better option for him, and just sort of musing in general about the yeah, idea of sticking to the trying to. Versus going out and trying something completely new. Well, what's your take on it? You think it's better to stick to what you know, or to take any opportunity to try something that's maybe outside your comfort zone? Ah, this more like moral choice here. <laughs> We're still talking about badly here. Well, no, I'm just talking uh, more generally, philosophically. If you well, know. he is philosopher. Never, well, never yeah, get yeah. anywhere if you don't take that's risks. That's what I've been saying. Anyway, thanks. I think I'm gonna try it. And don't worry, I'll be sure and ask Vladimir for pointers. Hey, we'll support you no matter what. Just don't want to see you get hurt, is all. Okay. Yeah, I know. So where's the thanks. girl? And maybe if I need a spotter. Let's Captain see. John, hello again. I was uncertain you would return. I guess we need to talk. There you are. I was wondering when you'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard, though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. Yeah, it was. I guess I'll have to be brave. You're already one of the bravest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillion here, Sarah. <laughs> oh, don't I wish. This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa. Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> yeah, I'll own this RP by your ship. Uh, which, which, isn't, which isn't far fetched considering how. Uh, cheap the sh uh, spaceships are in uh, <laughs> in this game. I mean, I mean, my character's parents bought bought me a ship, which I haven't used. Exactly, and don't worry, at the rate you're growing, it won't be long until you're grav jumping to unexplored star systems on your own ship. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well, I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects. 
I mean, I mean, Bitcoin would be like good idea if the value is would be tied to something. That's, but then again, it's it's also pretty. Uh, well, it takes a long time to uh, mine Bitcoin, so. We are going to take a picture from this uh, time. Did you want to talk for a bit? Look at this. All these people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. I am proud. <laughs> I was simply too foolish to realize it until you changed my perspective. Let's flirt. And I care about you too. There's obviously some kind of a connection between us that I think we need to discuss. Just let me have another moment here and then we can head over to the waterfall so we can talk in private. I'll had I have to play this. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. All of us flirting. Let's go. I heard that the trade authority Okay, what are piece of the waterfall? <laughs> Sauna is always good a good idea. Yeah, it's it's a week, week weekly schedule. So I'm playing after sauna games when when I have a chance. I'm st streaming after the sauna games. Too much. I love coming to this spot to just sort of I don't know. Melt away for a while. Okay, that's a waterfall. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other. But this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I knew you'd appreciate it. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. Okay, now I'm scared. I was hoping we could talk about something very important. Stamina, yes. When you speak enough and doesn't feel like sound. I hope no, nothing seriously not wrong. All. Just let me get all of this out. I have a lot to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Don't get me wrong, compared to Sona, I've had it easy. I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. Are you sure? For all we know, it's in my nature to keep people at arm's length. Or worse, push them away. Right now? Are you talking about Constellation? Or what exactly are you saying? Oh no. Uh, friendship or romance? Uh... Twitch chat help me out here. Friendship or romance? But I, I would like more like. 
In this spot, I would like more. Mm, let's be friends. She is pretty hard, and she doesn't like if I do crimes, which is always bad in a computer games. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, Andrea is, is the one who worships serpent, uh, like my character, and she's also inclined slightly towards the crime, like myself, <laughs> my character, so that uh -huh. would be like... Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she's, uh, she's, uh, I'm kind of zoning out here. Okay, so, uh, friendship. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear you say that. She probably honest, should say, I was would say this conversation same thing. Was going to wind up with you storming away. I'm glad I was wrong. Until now, I never realized Let, that, that if letting a game never hurts, side, yeah, could make me feel at peace. And I never That's true. want that feeling to end. Ally, yes. <laughs> 